it is time for another edition of Turn the Pitch. Right now, as you can see, we're standing in the darkness. The power might come back on finally here in Murray Hill, New York City. Hopefully, the light goes on while we're shooting, but we're going to get this going right now. We are very, very sad to inform all of you that Mitch Lucker, frontman from Suicide Silence, has passed away at the young age of 28 due to injuries sustained during a motorcycle accident. Apparently, he was drinking and driving during the Halloween Eve, so much love to the Suicide Silence family, everybody from the record label, and of course, his family. Brother, you will never be forgotten, and keep rocking in heaven with our brother Dimebag and Peter Steele. Last week, we reported that our brother Tony Ayomi from Black Sabbath is recovering smoothly from his battle with cancer. He said that so far he's beating the battle. Awesome, awesome news. And by the way, it has been announced, semi-announced, it's been rumored in, around the internet and news sources around the world that their new album is going to be out sometime in April of 2013. We also have a few tour updates regarding Black Sabbath, so don't go anywhere. Last week, Metallica debuted out of the Voodoo Music and Art Festival in New Orleans, Louisiana. Amazing said There's some videos on hornstarbrox.com that you can watch. Of course, they've already told us that, hey, we're about to go into the studio to record a new album that should be out sometime in 2013 or 14. You know how Metallica rolls, they do things their way and when festivals and shows keep coming up, they'll keep rocking. Right now we're gonna turn the page. Angela Gosto from Arch Enemy has announced that the band is taking a temporary hiatus following their Latin American tour which is coming up. But she already said, we're gonna be working on a new DVD on a new album. So they're taking a break to kind of be at home for a little bit. She's like, I wanna shit in my own toilet, I wanna cook my own food, I wanna be home. I don't know if you guys know this, but Angela handles everything business-wise with Arch Enemy, apart from me, the front woman of the band. So she's not only on tour, but off tour. She's always working with the next agent, bookers, everything. So the Arch Enemy machine keep keep going. We want to wish Angela and the rest of the Arch Enemy camp an awesome vacation. We love you guys and cheers. Behemoth's Nergal is facing up to two years in jail because of Bible bashing. His lawyers are still kind of fighting against the judge that is passing the settlement. If the settlement hasn't gone yet, it's going to go to another court. And if, as I said before, a prosecutor is going to face two years in jail. But hey, we all know it's an art form. Him bashing the Bible is not about him against religion. It's about being able to express himself, which is the First Amendment, right? So we wish all the best to Nergal from Behemoth. And we hope that it just clears off really quickly. The king of South American heavy metal, Max Cavalera, has announced a new project that's going to feature Troy from Macedon and Greg from the Dillinger Escape Plan. That's badass. They're still working on everything, but sometime next year they say they're gonna start releasing some material. By the way, SoFi has announced a temporary replacement for David Kincaid, who has left the band. Mr. Cyan Cavallero, which is one of Max's sons, is gonna be on stage. He's young, he's so awesome on the drums. We saw, them, we, we saw him with Lodi Kong. He is not to be missed. And by the way, Cavallero Conspiracy are in South America right now. Make sure you check them out. You all know that band Slayer, and you all know that song, Raining Blood, of course, right? Ba -na 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 -pa -pa -pa. Anyways, their song, Raining Blood, is featured on a Google commercial for the Chromebook. Check it out. We'll post the link and you can always watch it on hornstarprox.com. Speaking of Slayer, they're working on new materials coming out sometime next year, but they're not in a rush. Again, bands like Slayer, like Metallica, like Sabbath can take their time because you guys are going to pick it up anyways. As I said before, the reason why we're standing here in the darkness, we have traffic cops directing traffic. It's pretty chaotic, as you can tell. but. You know, it's already getting better and better. But hey, there's a lot of people who suffer a lot of devastating losses from Frank and Sandy, including Mr. Jerry Gasco from King's X. His home in the Jersey Shore is completely destroyed. He needs our help. I'm going to put the link on the screen so we can help him out. I don't remember this, but Gasco suffered a massive heart attack earlier this year. He survived by a miracle. So now he really needs our help. Please help him out. Speaking of other artists and artists in our community that have suffered huge losses during the hurricane, Sammy Hager from Van Halen, not from Chicken Food. His bar and grill was destroyed in Atlantic City. He already said he's going to be rebuilding that mother rifle. We want to send a huge shout out to everybody in Atlantic City and hope you guys rise up stronger than ever before. Right now, we're going to turn the page. Fear Factory has premiered a new video for the song The Industrialist. You can check it out right now. Exhumed is currently on tour with Napalm Death and Municipal Ways. They have finished the brand new album. And they're on tour and they were denied interest into Canada, but they have already announced the postponed dates. Again, Canada, please stop the nonsense. Let our artists go in there and do their job because they need to make some money, mother fudgers. So please, Canada, help our artists out. Pick Destroy have a new album out right now and they have a list and new video for their song, The Diplomat. Make sure you check it out. Former The Haunted guitarist Anders Bjorler, of course, the founder of At The Gates, the architect of Swedish heavy metal guitar playing, has announced a new solo project. 
The big question is, hey, what's up with At The Gates? At The Gates are going to be performing on the Barge to Hell Cruise. They're going to be doing some other shows, and we're all hoping for a new record, right, guys? If we want a new At The Gates record, let's demand that mother effort, please. We need At The Gates back. They would not be a term called the new wave of British heavy metal if it wasn't for a band like Saxon. And hey, they have announced the Heavy Metal Thunder, the movie, and it's going to be released this December. Make sure you check it out. Huge shout out to everybody at Saxon. Awesome band. Doing it for so many years. So strong. Such an underrated band too because of the time that they came. But anyways, right now we're going to turn the page and bring you the latest tour updates from your music. Of course, Frank and Sandy destroyed a lot of places here in the Tri-Set area. So everybody kind of agreed that every event this week was either canceled or postponed. Bands affected by that were the Deftones, the Misfits, Death Clock, Machine Head, All That Remains, and the Black Dahlia Murder. And the list goes on. The Smashing Pumpkins, a lot of events. But by the way, most of them are going to be postponed. As soon as we know which ones are getting postponed, you won't know. You guys remember how I told you we have a bunch of Black Sabbath tour updates? Well, here they are. They're going to be touring in Australia this April. Bunch of tour dates. They haven't been in Australia in over 20 years, so that's going to be historical. And by the way, we told you that Ausfis Japan is coming, and guess who's going to be jamming with them? Goddamn Slipknot, not to be missed. Japan always represents. So again, Australian tour from Black Sabbath and Ausfis Japan with Black Sabbath and Slipknot. Right now, we're going to turn the page. Soundgarden have a new album entitled King Animal coming out on November 13th, and they have announced three very special shows, dubbed an evening with Soundgarden. They're going to be performing in New York. Toronto and Los Angeles. We'll throw the dates on the screen for you guys. Make sure you check it out. And by the way, if you pre-order the album, they'll give you a special code. Soilwork have announced a massive North American tour in 2013. It's gonna take place in March and April. And support is gonna come from Jeff Loomis, Blackguard, The Browning, and Wretched. And that's right, I looked down because that's my script down there. Yes. We don't hide anything here on Star Brox, but it's a great production, right? Right now we're gonna turn the page literally. Before we get out of here and turn the page, we're very happy to announce that Three Inches of Blood is coming for the West Coast this coming uh, November to mid-December, and they're going to be touring with Hookers, the band, not Hookers like Hookers, <laughs> and Huntress. By the way, one more time, I want to wish everybody in the Tri-State area a quick, prom recovery. Our hearts are with you, and I want to invite everybody to Fontana's Bar on Friday, November 9th, to celebrate our lives. Our existence, the fact that we're still standing strong, that we're New Yorkers and we're stronger than all. So come to Fontana's for the Day of the Dead celebration. I want to see you there. Put your horns up and keep supporting music. Death Metal, Machines, Pioneers, Legends. Nile have another 20th anniversary tour is coming in March and April of 2013. They're going to have three local bands per market. Make sure you hit up your local promoters. And they're going to be doing two sets per night. Can't go wrong. So it's going to be like two hours of Nile's back catalog. New music from the new album, The Gator See the Fuck. Check them out. March and April 2013, Niles celebrated 20 years of death metal domination.